Hey guys, welcome to Split. Today we're looking at a product from Gravastar. If you've never heard of Gravastar, look up the Mars speaker. They make this really cool Death Star looking speakers that don't sound too bad either. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we are talking about the Sirius P5, a set of earbuds that does something which I think a lot of other earbuds should do to make them stand out a bit more. Let's talk about it. Okay, so here's the box, and you're probably already thinking, that's a big box for earbuds, but I'll explain. In the box, you get three cases, right? The earbuds themselves and three other cases, something called the Defense Mecha, Defense Crystal, and Defense Armor. Defense Mecha looks like a transformer of sorts. Defense Crystal is transparent, you know, the one I have here, so it kind of lets the light shine through, and the Defense Armor is made of steel, so I don't know why they made that. If you're a construction worker or work somewhere that you drop your headphones a lot and need protection, it's made of steel, deal with it. Uh, what else is in there? It also has uh, this chain, right? That allows you stick it over the edge of like the defense crystal case and wear it around your neck if you're used to losing your stuff. If you're that kind of guy that loses your stuff, I don't know, I don't know who loses stuff randomly, but if you're that kind of guy, they want you wearing this around your neck and yeah. For some reason, it's supposedly safer than putting it in your pocket. But it's an option and it is there. Lots of headphones don't give you that. I guess maybe because they figure you have a pocket, but it is there if you wanna make it part of your look. And I'll explain how you can do that in a second. Let's keep going. So as I was saying, each case, right? Each case has its own style. And how it works is the, the earbuds themselves have a predefined case that slide into each case. Underneath it is a screw that locks it in place so it doesn't disappear or it doesn't fall out when you pop it open. Each one is spring-loaded cover, which makes for a really nice mechanism, right? Already adding to its cool factor, it has an LED light, which you can change the color by simply tapping a button, if I can find it. Yeah, tap a button and it just swaps out the color. Swaps out the color, swaps out the color, swaps out the color. So I think you get, what, three, four colors? You get red, uh, this teal looking thing, you get blue, and then you get green. Yeah, so those are the four colors you get. And then you can just double tap and turn it off completely. Those colors also indicate your power level. So they're not just there for fancy, but they can help you indicate when you're charging these earbuds. So double function. Okay, so let's talk about the earbuds themselves, right? Oh, I never get tired of doing that. So when you slide them out, they're very rem reminiscent of the AirPods, I think generation two, yeah, second generation. So, you know, it has the stick thing when you put it in your ear, it says Bluetooth connected. But before that, there's like this, uh, like this, this rev sound. Part of its whole Gravastar theme, which is sticking with. Uh, one thing I noticed though, it does happen as soon as you take it out. So if you don't put it in your ear immediately, you may miss that sound. But that sound is there and it does add to the cool factor. The earbuds themselves have two LEDs on the edge to determine when they're on or off. In the case, they keep glowing red to indicate that they're charging. And when they're fully charged, the red will go to white, as it were. Now keep in mind, these are open ear designs. So what I mean is that there's no wing, there's no plastic silicone tip to sort of lock them into your ear canal. They sit on the outside of the ear canal. So it's not a tight seal fit. In fact, for me, they're a bit, they're bit kind of loose. So I can't do very vigorous exercise. Not like I would do vigorous exercise anyway, but if I were to get involved in such activities, these may not be the most secure fit for me because I see them falling out if I really, really jiggle them hard. Uh, they will fit securely for some other people, but not for everyone. Again, keep that in mind because there's no tip to hold it. But not everybody likes that tip plunging into the air canal, like I always say. So this may be fantastic for open ear design is great for some and not so great for others. It does have an IPX4 rating, which means it is resistant to splash and light water. So you can work out with it theoretically and survive in some light rain, but it will not be submerged because it'll just, the IP rating doesn't support any higher and you'll damage these bad boys. So we're gonna talk about the controls very quickly because I found it does have a bit of a learning curve and I'm gonna bring out something you know, illegal, the manual. So there are some straightforward controls here, like when you double tap to skip forward, but it's dedicated to the right, you can double tap to go back on the left. Single tap to play and pause, that works I, on, on either side of the bud, on the, on, the, on the stick. But there's something called a short press to answer phone call. 
and then there's something called press for three seconds. You have to press for three seconds to turn it off, and as you can press for a minute, for a second and a half to decrease the volume on the left, for a second and a half to increase the volume on the right. Uh, it can be a bit tough to time in your head, but those other three functions I talked about seem to work, you know, seamlessly. Another function in here is a dedicated gaming mode. So if you tap three times on the right earbud, it'll switch it into a dedicated gaming mode. And the aim is to cut down any lag between when you're you maybe mobile gaming or watching a video on your device. But I still did notice a little bit of lag when I put it in that mode. Again, you're, you know, something's got to give for the price you're paying here. I think the focus here is really on making the headphones different with decent sound, but some of the features you would get in some of the other flagships, you may not find them here. But let me walk you through and then you can make a call on, you know, make a call on your own. Moving on. But since we're talking about features, right? It clearly, because it's open ear, it doesn't have ANC. Not because it can't, that is possible with open ear. The technology will make it work. May not be the most effective, but it's possible. But this pair doesn't have them. But it does have something called environmental noise canceling. Well, it tries to reduce the noise when you're making a phone call. Uh, it does support SBC and AAC, so you know whether you're Android or iOS, that works great. But another codec it does support, which some other flagships don't, is aptx HD. Now, aptx HD is a compression. Think about it as a compression Bluetooth format, right? that for wireless Bluetooth connection when you're playing music. With any Bluetooth connection, you are losing some form of quality when it's not wired. So aptx HD is one of those formats that tries to keep it within a decent byte rate to generate cleaner sound, as it were. Just surface explanation. Let's just leave it at that. You wanna go study it, go check it out. But it is a good quality codec. This supports that, unlike some of the others which we've, you know, which you pay a little bit more for and have some of the premium brand names out there. So that's, that's good to note. Another great feature it has, which you may pay a pretty penny for in some other earbuds out there, especially when I recently just reviewed, is multi-point connection. This thing is able to do multi-point connection, that's right. So connect to two devices at the same time. You can connect to your PC and your phone. So especially for me, that's really important because when I'm working and listening to music, if my phone goes off, I don't want to have to fiddle with settings or anything. I can just answer the call. And when I'm done, I can just switch right back to what I'm doing. I, I think that's a great feature. I think. All headphones, earbuds should have it, period. I approve this message. But it is there, all right? So I think that's a plus for the Sirius P5. So what's missing in comparison to the flagships? Uh, we talked about clearly there's no ANC, there is no fast charging, there is no wireless charging. I guess that wouldn't work because of the, the it already lives in the case and then you have to put it in another case. I think that'd be really tough to to send that 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 signal, that frequency through but it's just not there, right? That's an extra price point that's missing. And like I talked about earlier, the controls have a little bit of a cur learning curve and they're not entirely perfect. They do work, don't get me wrong, but they're not as smooth and as buttery as some of the other premium flagships out there. So there's no pause and play support, right? When you Typically when you have your earbuds in and you take them out, they're supposed to pause and when you put them back in, they're supposed to play automatically. These don't do that, at least not in the time I've tried them anyway. Okay, 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 so I should have talked about the sound a while ago, right? Because mm, that's what you're waiting for. Not really, like I said, this the headphones here, this is really more about the aesthetics of the Gravistar P5, right? Everything else it brings to the table, the variation in, in cases, the style, if you can wear it around your neck, RGB, all that stuff is more important to the design of these earbuds than the sound. But don't get me wrong, you're buying earbuds for sound fundamentally. So let's get into that. Now keep in mind these are open ear designs, right? So they won't have a seal if you're looking for that locked in feel. It's not there. But they do have 12 millimeter drivers which tend to push out some really good low end and solid bass. But that bass can get muddy depending on the genre you're playing or how much volume you're kicking out. The mids struggle a bit with voice separation in some genres but clean at, at decent listening audio. Anything below 60 volume sounds awesome to me. Uh, but that being said, you are paying under $100 for this. So if you're expecting XM5s or or Apple AirPods Pro, no, nah, that's not gonna happen. I mean, that is possible. I have seen some really left-wing earbuds that are cheap but have kicked out some decent sound. Maybe I'll do a dedicated video for that, but this isn't one of those. It's just in the okay realm of audio and it'll do Fantastic in some genres and may not do so well in others. So 
your mileage will vary. That's my take. Let me know if you own one. Let me know what your comments are below. Let me know what your experience is below and then we can hash it out. Battery life, battery life is decent. Not, you know, Google Buds Pro good, but good. It's eight hours. Uh, with the case up to 32 hours and that's not bad. Well, it would have been not bad if you had fast charging. So you have to be very deliberate about charging these and making sure they're fully charged, which in my personal pair, it took sometimes almost an hour and a half or two hours to get to a full charge. It's, it's a lot. Sometimes I felt it wasn't even fully charged after two hours, but uh, my brother swears that his charged up, at least this, when he tried it out, it charged up in an hour and a half, but what does he know about time? Either way, there's no fast charging, so you gotta be deliberate about charging it all the way. And that's it for the pros and cons. The pros are really more about the aesthetics, the, the variations you get. For 89 bucks, and you get the Sears P5 combo. It's called a combo. You can't buy them individually. Uh, anywhere between $67 all the way to 80 something bucks, depending on the case you pick. I think the metal will probably, probably be the most expensive given that it's metal. Doesn't make sense. If you buy it at about 89 bucks, at least at the time it released in November, uh, pre-order, I got this for pre-order, you get all three cases in the box at once. You get the chain, you get a USB-C cable, you get a manual, for those of you that like to read. But that's it, you know, and that's your experience with these. And you can change, like I said, it, that's what they're selling. The experience of being able to adjust your look when you want to, or what you want to wear, how you want to carry it, what your style is for the week, or whatever. That, that's their thing. I think it's a good deal for that. Uh, at the beginning of this video, I said I think more, more earbuds should do that, give us variation, because whatever you come with, whatever case you get, whether it's Samsung or Sony, you're kind of stuck with it. You have to buy a skin, you're helping other third, you're spending extra cash, but this sort of gives you that option right out the box, which I think is a pretty, nice feature there are some other earbuds out there which i might be reviewing soon i think there's the hho gene that changes based on the color spectrum and you can actually take a picture and modify that um, i'm probably trying to get one of those into the studio hho gene here's looking at you did i even pronounce that hho gene hho gene whatever you probably see it somewhere but right now those are my thoughts on the sirius p5 combo pack let me know what you guys think too geeky too quirky to, um, what's the word, Techno RBG is not doing it for you. Uh, let's talk in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.